190 North. I'm Janet Davies at the Chicago Botanic Garden. And this garden is 23 gardens in one. Did you know that? And from the English wall garden to the bulb garden, we're going to give you a taste of the colors bursting forth here. But first, we go from flowers to football. I know what you're thinking. Come on, Janet, football season's over. Well, maybe for the Bears it is, but not for Chicago's other team, the Rush. And Luke Canellis went inside for the AFL. Combining NFL football and maybe a circus? You get the Arena Football League. Maybe you aren't too familiar with it, but arena football seems to be pretty hot here in Chicago. Just ask the fans. It's phenomenal. I like the action. I like the scoring. They go for it. Is it as good as watching a Bears game? Yeah. Different. <laughs> All right, tell me. I mean, what do you? Different, but good. Well, it's a lot more excitement. It's faster. You're closer to the action. A lot of fun. Kind of like it more than the NFL. It's fast pace and hard hitting. The bear season's over, this, this is the game, this arena football, baby. Well, we have two different types of fans. We have, first of all, the fanatical football fan, the person that has the depression filled Sundays after the NFL season gets over. Where are their pros at? It's 100 miles an hour. It's, it's, it's Mach 2, Dave. It's, there's nothing else in the world. And the second one is families, because we're so affordable and so accessible, you can bring your whole family out here and you don't have to refinance your house. And arena football fans know game days in Chicago don't begin with kickoff. The day actually begins two hours earlier with the free Chicago Rush Family Fest. Are we ready to see the rush? Fans also include Chicago's own NFL icon himself, Mike Ditka, who is now a part owner of the team. It goes God, Ditka, the rest us. of us. Anybody who brings a family of kids to this type of game will enjoy it much more than they will most sporting events they go to because they have a, an entertainment package for everybody. And plus, the football is good. It really is. It's so good that most games fill the Allstate Arena. Plus, there's no wind chill in here. This is apple pie. This is America. standing at the 25 yard line which is actually midfield in the arena football league that's right opposed to the nfl where it's 100 yards goal line the goal line here in the afl it's 50 yards goal line to goal line being an nfl purist like yourself you like what AFL Well, the reason is the last time I coached in New Orleans, we needed a field that was half the size. <laughs> yeah, you sure did. We really did because we could have done a lot better on a short <laughs> field. Another big difference is the players themselves. They play both on offense and defense. Our right tackle also turns around and plays left end, uh, rushing the quarterback, and plays on special teams. Our athletes are a lot, they're just not as specialized. They're very versatile and tremendous athletes, but they're just not the 350-pound behemoths that you see in the NFL. You name me two NFL players that can do it, I can't do it. Maybe uh, Brian Urlacher could do it. There's a few who probably could do it, but not too many. It's Jet Fighters live and uncensored. And speaking of Brian Urlacher, look who's here to take in a game. What's your favorite part? You got the Nets. You got the smaller field, you got the players falling into the crowd. What's your favorite part of the game? When they flip over the fence. When they flip over and literally fall in the crowd. Yeah. And every spare moment of play is filled with entertainment. Coach Ditka called his players Grabowski's back in 85 when he came to the rush. Guess what? He brought the Grabowski mascot with him because the rush players personify that lunch pail mentality. What's up? We, we got the new mascot, Grabowski, and, uh, you know, it makes sense. Work ethic, that's all it's about. Good work ethic, work hard, uh, don't be a showboat, play hard, leave it on the field. And it's no wonder families love it. Tickets start at just $10. It's, it's the world. It's, it's life. It's, it's, it's unprecedented. <laughs> and I guess that says it all. For 190 North, I'm Lou Canellis. Thank you, Lou. Now the Chicago Rush season is over in May, so you better hurry up and get your tickets. Okay, can you imagine?